Did you know there's two types of withdrawal from alcoholism? It happens to all of us when we quit. The first one is the physical. We all know that one, right? Delirium tremors, feeling like we're gonna puke all the time, the shakes, sweat, rapid heartbeat, those kind of symptoms you'll experience if you freeze it once you quit alcohol, especially if you drink large volumes of alcohol for long periods of time, that physical withdrawal can be harmful and it can take you out. That's why if you're drinking alcohol for long periods of time, large volumes, I don't even, I shouldn't even say large volumes, large volumes or small volumes, you should talk to your medical doctor or somebody who's in addiction that can guide you appropriately along in your withdrawal from alcohol, okay? Because alcohol is one of the only drugs that you can die from coming off of, believe it or not. Valium's the other one, but we're talking about alcohol here. So if you wanna quit drinking, you should talk to your doctor before you stop, okay? You really should, because it's dangerous to stop alcohol just like that, okay? So the first one is the physical, and that gets the most attention. And it should, because for the reason I just explained, right? The reason I just explained, that's why I should get the most attention. And it's the obvious one, right? The physical withdrawal. Now here's the good part. There is a second part of withdrawing from alcohol. And I bet you 10 to one, a lot of you didn't even know. Because you know something? I research alcoholism, and behavior of alcoholics before they quit drinking and after, and I, I've done it to I'm blue in the face. And I've been kicking around for about 30 years as a recovering alcoholic, and I didn't even know it. I did not even know it. And what it's called is pause. It's called post-acute withdrawal syndrome. Yep, have you ever heard of that before? Maybe you have, maybe you heard it in treatment center. Maybe your doctor or psychiatrist or psychologist has told you about that, but I've never heard about it. And what it basically is, is once the alcohol is out of our body, has left us. The damage that's been done to us physically, mostly mentally and emotionally is still with us. So what happens over the next, some people maybe one to two weeks, it may be as long as one to two years. There's people who will argue that, but I think it's basically up to the individual how much damage has been done from the alcohol and for myself alcohol and drugs that's been dug done to us physically but mostly what i want to talk about is the mental the brain damage that alcohol has done and what happens with the use and abuse of alcohol the neurons in our brain sort of get detoured or screwed up from the abuse of alcohol and it attacks the frontal cortex, the front of your brain, that's, the, that's like the head office of your brain. It runs our daily lives. And that part of our brain can get foggy, can get disconnected from our reality because of the use and abuse of alcohol. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. And I'm not talking severe. I'm just, well, it all depends, right? It all depends. There's wet brain, you've heard about that. That's a, that's a, a sort of a dementia that's brought on by alcohol, the use and abuse of alcohol. If you have dementia or wet brain from alcohol, you're not coming back. You're gonna be have to be looked after, but I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about like me, okay? Who came out of it. So the frontal cortex gets attacked by the alcohol and the use and abuse of it over the years. So when you stop drinking, it has to reset itself. So you might feel foggy in the brain because of it. You may feel depressed. You may feel anxious or anxiety. You may have sleeping problems. Maybe you're sleeping too much. Maybe you're not sleeping enough waking up through the night. That is part of your brain rejigging itself. And that's part of the post-acute withdrawal syndrome. But for me, one that stands out a lot caused by this syndrome is moodiness. We feel up, we feel down, we feel angry, we feel all over the... That's why they say in a lot of programs, the first year, just chill out, man. Chill out. Take it easy. Go to your programs, whatever program you're in, and just 
learn to live one day at a time without the alcohol. Try not to put too much stress on yourself because that creates more problems. Don't get in situations that you feel anxious in. Just relax in the first year. Give yourself and your body and your mind and your emotions time to recuperate because post-acute withdrawal syndrome is a real thing is a real thing they probably didn't know it back in the 30s and the 40s but they know it now the length and the duration of time to heal is basically up to the individual and some of the ways you can help yourself is one of the ways i just said now take it easy just take it one day at a time give yourself a break lower your expectations of your readiness to take on the world lower your expectations just take your time i'm not talking i'm not saying about working a program, but just when it comes to your expectations, take your time, slow it down, self-care. Another thing is go to therapy. Talk about what's going on with you in a, in a controlled environment that can help you, guide you through that. Those emotions, the way you think. Therapy is a really good one. Mindfulness, go into support groups. We need to heal mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. It's all a part of the addiction of alcohol. It's a lot bigger than just putting a plug on the jug and thinking we got it made in the shade. It really is, okay? That's it, folks. That's it. Thanks for stopping by. I, I, I feel uh, really energized about talking about this because in early recovery, I was really messed up. I had a really hard time with recovery. I really did, especially in the beginning, the first like, you know, six months, I felt like I was out of control. Now I know why. I now I know why what was part of it, right? Is post acute withdrawal syndrome, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel where we're under the sober one day at a time, okay? If you can take a second, hit that like button. If you can take another second, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, okay? Just remember, sobriety is freedom. You're not alone. There's a lot of us out there recovering from alcoholism, doing it one day at a time, and a lot of us are doing a terrific job doing it. Because you know why? If you're sober, you are doing a terrific job. You really are, okay? My name is Terry G. Ciao for now. God bless, and I'll see you later.